Hi everyone, a big warm fabulous welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope you're all really, really good. So today I have Zara haul, such good pieces. Cannot wait to show you. And I also have some flat shoes to show you that I've ju literally just been delivered from ASOS. They're so good. Um, so I wanted to show you them as well. And yeah, I hope you're all really good. Before we start, I wanted to give a shout out to the pieces of jewelry that I have on. I'm gonna talk you through some of the pieces. Um, they're from a brand called Ana Luisa and it's all recycled materials. So recycled gold, recycled silver, it's all recyclable. So they haven't caused any more damage to the environment, which I think is so important in this day and age. It is such a sustainable, ethical brand. Um, so yeah, I have picked up these cute little hoop like earrings with the pearl on, which I just, I love like the touch of pearl. Like I think it's a really gorgeous um, modern way to wear a pearl. And then if you look closely here, I just have this gorgeous necklace absolutely beautiful and i don't know if you can see this ring on my finger i'm a big lover of rings and i just think that is such a gorgeous ring so a bit of background about Anna Luisa. they have worked in the luxury jewelry industry for years and they really wanted to make um, luxury jewelry accessible and sustainable so if you want to check out some fabulous new jewelry i became really into jewelry recently i think it shouldn't be overlooked. It's such the icing on top of the cake. So when I was had a lot of spare time in my lockdown, I really was like working on my style, working on actual beautiful, really gorgeous jewelry pieces to really put the cherry on top of the cake when it comes to my style. So I can't recommend this site enough. Go check it out. And yeah, I'll leave the links to all the jewelry that I have on below too. They use 100% recycled gold. The silver is made from 92.5 pure silver matching the highest standard Standards in the fine jewelry industry. All the diamonds are sustainably grown. The brand is from New York City and each piece of jewelry comes with its own backstory influenced by their passion for unconventional and extraordinary art. Most producers today are still using old-fashioned ways of manufacturing products, not taking into account if they create earth-friendly products or not. While this may be the fastest and cheapest method of manufacturing, it's not beneficial for our future. Ana Luisa take great care in producing eco-friendly jewelry which is beautiful sustainable and elegant as well so let's talk Zara let me show you the first piece so I became really into different types of trousers recently I was so sticking to the same skinny jeans and I was like I just wanted to experiment with different types of jeans and trousers so I have picked up these beautiful wide leg uh, I can't really describe the material it's like in between a jean and like a canvas it looks very ho really hard wearing I just loved how gorgeously big these trousers were and I really imagined them with like an off-the-shoulder black top a big hat hopefully I'll be wearing it here so you can see what I'm thinking in my head I haven't tried these on yet because in Zara we weren't allowed to try them on so I hope they fit okay but um yeah they had like this kind of suit aspect to it and I loved how hooking they were around the waistline but then went into this gorgeous big billowing leg it also has hooks for a belt as well which is super handy because I love a belt you know me <laughs> so next up I have this cute little bralette I don't know if you can see but it's like um a knitted material and what I loved about this I thought it was perfect to wear with high-waisted jeans high-waisted shorts maybe put an open white shirt over the top of it or a cardigan it was just a really gorgeous under garment and I also loved the knot detailing at the back as well that was a really really nice touch I'm loving knit at the moment like knit tops so I've just ordered um, if you remember the sage green one in my H&M haul I've just actually ordered the black and the cream version of that. I just think it's a really gorgeous quality vest top. Um, so I'll leave them linked down below too because get your hands on them before they sell out. I'll put, pop, pop, pop a picture of the ones I mean here. Um, but I know they're gonna sell out really fast so get go get your hands on them if you love the sage green one. Um, but yeah, I thought this was gorgeous to pair with shorts, jeans, anything like that. Just a really cute little number to have. Next up, I have this gorgeous sage green was really in in the catwalks for SS20. So this, I thought it was a maxi skirt, which I think it can be worn as a maxi skirt. But the model in the shop had it on as a dress. 
but I am gonna wear it as a skirt because I thought to the floor this was just such a lo lovely kind of color and shape it has this kind of balloon bottom which I hadn't seen before and I thought that was a really nice way to make the skirt move nicely flow and just the color as well I think that's a gorgeous color for spring summer so next up I have the most gorgeous little co set and I thought they would be perfect separately as well so I it comes in, I think it came in different colours, did it? I'm not sure. It might come in different colours. So the top is this kind of like black brodery material. Has this waistband around the middle which you can pull to fit your body. And then goes into a cute little, it's quite long so it covers your bum area. Would be cute with white jeans, um, normal jeans and just really nice on its own but it goes with some cute black brodery trousers which are flared and I just pictured this with a cute little wicker hat, straw hat with a beach bag and I thought it was a really laid back, chill, comfortable, loose outfit and I'm gonna cue straw hat. So this is the straw hat I picked up. I just absolutely love straw hats. I cannot stress enough that they just make outfits look so, so good. They keep the sun off your face, they keep your hair in place, and also it's a really flattering light, light on your face, I think, when it's kind of like blocks out the harsh sunlight. So this was a gorgeous one I picked up from Zara. I actually have one similar from Zara from years back. I've had about five years, but this is so much more well-made. It looks a lot more expensive it's like sturdier and the band is a bit more gorgeous like it's the other one was a lot cheaper so I renewed my hat game and got this cute little hat and I just thought with this oh it's just gonna look so cute so lastly from Zara I picked up this turquoise top that I have on right now it actually you can wear it up like this so you can choose which way you want to wear it the sleeves are adjustable with these cute little bows as well so you can fit it to your arms I quite like it off the shoulder I love an a bardo top um, I love a collarbone <laughs> I think it's a really sexy part of a woman's body so I like to show it off um, but yeah you can wear it either way and I, it's got these cute little frills around the bottom as well I just love the fit and the colour of this this came in different colours too as well I think I think it came in white and black as well so definitely check out the colours and let's get into my flat shoe haul this makes me really excited I hope you're excited about the flat shoes Okay, firstly, these shoes are the comfiest shoes I've ever put on my feet. They will need no wearing in. They're so comfy and they're half price on ASOS at the moment. So they're from Dune via ASOS and they're originally like 75, I think, and they're on ASOS at the moment for around 40. So I want, I was always wearing those white loafers. I don't know if you've seen me in them. And I was like, why do I only just have one pair of white loafers if I live in them? So I picked up a pair of nude ones. And I don't know if you can see, this has cushioning on the inside. This is the squidgiest thing. And, and I actually have collapsed arches. So this is really nice on my arch to like keep it, your posture nice. And it has these cute little tassels here. And I love the kind of like invisibility of it. So like when you have an outfit on, they're really understated, but they did come in black, white, and brown as well. And I think I might have to pick them up in all colors. But um, I wanted to show you these shoes because I would probably be wearing them in this haul somewhere. So next I have two pairs of shoes really, really similar. And I don't know whether to keep them both or send one back. So let me know which is your favorite because they're kind of similar. So these are all via ASOS, but these are River Island via ASOS. And they're the cute little like slider sandals. And I loved the detailing at the top. And I love the fact that they have not got River Island anywhere on them. River Island have a really bad habit of doing that. Nobody wants River Island and blazing on their shoes. Um, <laughs> I always try and remove the tag whenever they put it on. So I got these, I just thought they were really handy to slip on. I wanted a pair of slip-on black beautiful shoes, but I also picked them up as well, slightly different. So I got these ones and these remind me of a designer. I've seen them, I can't think. What is the designer? I'll put the, they're a dupe of something, I'll pop them here. But I love the designer, ooh, hello put that back there <laughs> I love the designer-esque aspect of them but I can't decide which ones I love more so I just I really like them I think these would come in so in handy to just slip on when I'm going to shops across the road and stuff so next I wanted to step up my sandal game and I love sandals with like little rope ties around the ankle because I find they stay on my feet more so I picked up these in a nude and I loved how chunky the rope was I thought they looked such high-end um quality because of this beautiful 
chunky chunky rope and I actually got them in black too because you know me once I like something I like to pick it up in multiple colors so I pick them up I always go I always size up in sandals or flat shoes I wear size three in heels and size four in flats I just think especially sliders when you have a shoe like this getting a size up really helps your foot not slide off the back I think they look better a bit bigger so as always I will link everything in the description box below let me know your favorite item in the comments below or if you do end up buying anything let me show you tag me on instagram i'd love to see how you style it and yeah i hope you like this video give it a thumbs up if you did let me know your um preferences for videos in the comments below i love hearing your ideas and stuff and yeah i hope to see you in another video very very soon bye